Hey! Dr. Steve Sutnik decided he wants to say not just the first paragraph of the Shema, as is commonly said in tefillin when you're just rapping on the go, but he wants to say all three, and he just did it with the Chabad.org transliteration, and the focus is totally out on this camera. But why don't you welcome everybody to the Late Parsha Show. Welcome to the Late Parsha Show. You should not miss one episode ever. Okay. Okay, well, this was probably a very long intro, but basically what's happening here is that last year's episode of the Late Parsha Show for this week's Torah portion, as well as two years ago, somehow this happened two years in a row, my fault, I didn't send them out properly, so I'm just putting both of them here in this video, and this is what you're watching now. This week's Torah portion is called Akev, and in it, Misha continues his final speech to us and tells us how Hashem has so many wonderful blessings in store for us, and that if we keep the Torah and fulfill Hashem's mitzvahs, we will feel the physical benefit of these blessings. The short, simple, and very meaningful lesson from the Torah portion that I would like to share with you in this video is like this. There is a verse in this week's Torah portion where God tells us that we should watch out, lest we stray from service of God and turn to idol worship. But why does it have to be that way? Can't I like find a middle ground where I'm not exactly serving God, but I'm, I'm not bowing to idols? Um, no. The Baal Shem Tev interprets the verse that we are discussing to mean exactly that, that as soon as one turns away from serving God, that person is automatically serving idols. And though that sounds really like intense, and you might be thinking like, okay, I don't even own idols. God is the one true existence, the current creator and animator of everything else that exists. So God is the one true existence. So when God and what God wants from you is not your primary concern and focus and goal of your life, then obviously something else or other things are more important, more real to you than God is. This is idolatry, perhaps more subtle than going and bowing to an actual physical statue. I once had like this really cool party with idols and like all my friends were there, but it is attributing more importance to one of God's creations than to God. Anyways, the idea is we must serve God and nothing and no one else can get in the way of our service of God. When describing the desert, Moshe calls it Midbar Agodol Vahanoira, loosely translated as big, great, and awesome. But not great and awesome like, wow, that's so great and awesome. More like scary and dreadful. Torah is not a history book, and everything documented in Torah is actually current events. It's a lesson for our life. Everything in Torah is a lesson for life. Our mistake then, right before we entered the promised land, was the fact that we looked at the desert as scary, dreadful, large, and really we could have realized it's all in the hands of God and we're being very well taken care of. We're in very good hands. We can't look at the world as a scary place, as a place where... Oy vey. We can't look at the world as a scary place and feel confined to its limits and feel, oh my gosh, I gotta do this and this and this in order to succeed in life. Don't care what the world say care what God say. And he says, you're my children. I'm going to take care of you. If only you will listen. Make sure we take what the Torah has to say and take it seriously. Because God takes us very seriously and will take care of us very well.